get Gary Stein with you in the post game here to my, let's see, what is this? My right, Jackie Boswell, head coach, to my left, Malia Smith. Uh, Jackie, we'll, we'll go to you first. You're trailing 21 points in the third quarter, 47-26, but you guys never gave up, mm -hmm. scored 33 points in the four, fourth quarter. Just give us an overall thought on the game. Um, you know, I, I thought that the pace of the game is just something we weren't really used to, and it took us a little bit longer than I would have liked us for us to get into it. Um, I thought, like you said, though, we didn't give up. That's the important part. That's where we, we got to know where our heart is at this time of the year, and I think the fourth quarter showed us where it is. We just fell a little short. What, what about on the offensive glass? It seemed like um, Widener really controlled it, at least for the first three quarters. Yeah, I mean, you know, we talked about that. We couldn't let them get to the paint. We couldn't let them get easy shots. When they get to the paint, you're out of position to try to rebound. So I thought that, um, you know, we had some mismatches under there, and, and they really took advantage of that. But, again, after I, I thought we settled in, I thought we subbed a little bit better to make sure that we weren't tired um, because just the pace of the game, like I said, we weren't used to. But, you know, that's Widener's pace, and I think that's the only way you can beat them, honestly. And um, so, you know, they're a great team, and, and uh, I thought we stepped up to the challenge, though. We just fell a little short this time and won't next time. Let me turn over to my left. Yeah, my left to Malia. Um, your thought on the bench, and you came in off the bench today, but your, your thought is the team was coming back in that fourth quarter. Yeah, oh, yeah. We definitely have some amazing um, leadership within the captains of, like, really pulling ourselves together um, offensively to start putting some shots in. Um, and then defensively, we really kept up that intensity, and we really um, – you know, one shot at a time, chip that lead down, just as Coach Jackie always says. So I'm really proud of us for the work that we did there and, uh, you know, really trying to come back in that fourth quarter. What did your coach tell you after the third quarter to get you guys in that position to make that fourth quarter run? Uh, she really just wanted us to make sure that we were driving and kicking, doing the things that we always do in practice. Um, you know, we practice a lot of these things. We are very intense on the defensive boards, the offensive boards. So um, just making sure that we're sharing the ball, that we're communicating with each other. And it definitely was very noticeable, even in the first possession. Absolutely. Coach, I wanted to ask you, Morgan DeBerry had a tough first half. Mm -hmm. I think she had four turnovers, but she came back in the second half, gave you 12 points, handled the basketball very well. Yeah, I thought that showed a lot of maturity on her part. Her teammates back her up as well. We know she can do better. We still ran the same play for her again. Um, and as you see, she didn't turn it over that time. So, you know, I just thought we did some really good things. Again, hopefully it's just not too little too late. Um, you know, Malia's out here right now because even though – Statistically, she only had four rebounds, but she was the cause of a lot of other things that went our way. Um, so I, I think that sometimes that's underestimated a little bit. And we need to learn from her. I think the younger kids need to learn from, from that leadership on the floor and, and get the job done, and then we can move forward. That's a good point. I wanted to ask you because Widener's a pretty good ball handling basketball team. They only average about 15 turnovers per game coming in. I think they had over 20 today, if I'm not mistaken, or around that number. Um, Talk to me about that, getting your hands in the passing lanes, putting pressure on them. Yeah, no, um, it definitely is about the little things. Um, that's something that we definitely push a lot in practice, too, is staying in the passing lane, staying um, on your toes and making sure you're moving when the ball's in the air. Um, so it's just like a lot of the little fundamental things that really help us to um, get those defensive stops and to cause those turnovers. And they're, you know, really, they don't always show up on the stat books, but, you know, they definitely, like, make a huge difference for the game. What are you studying here? Uh, biology pre-med. You're one. You're a very articulate. Absolutely. <laughs> you better be nice. She's gonna be taking care of us when we get old. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, you guys took care of it today. Unfortunately, it was ten points short. But Jackie, thank you. Malia, thank you. More coming your way on GoMustangSports.tv.